On January 19, 2022, the Boston Street Railway Association hosted a farewell to the Trackless Trolleys fan trip. Come along on our ride around some rarely seen trackless trolley routes, while three unique vehicles carry us along the way. The excursion began at North Cambridge Car House. It's quarter till nine and plenty of fans have already shown up. One of our chariots arrived as I was checking in. This silver line dual mode is not familiar with these parts, hence why it is such a unique bus for this trip. One by one, the buses pulled out. First, the Silver Line dual mode. Just about everyone went on the dual mode, but we were waiting for the point of the trip the trackless trolley. Next out was MBTA RTS 0309. Back up. Back up. 0309's duty for the day was to be in the front of the other two buses and give the people on 0309 the opportunity to get photos of the other two buses passing by. And now for the boarding of the trackless trolley. Morning. We cruised down Massachusetts Avenue, where the trolley buses perform pullouts to the car house. Uh oh, what happened? It seems as if our bus is dewired at the switch from Cambridge Common to the Harvard Tunnel. Luckily, this is a common suit on the trackless trolleys, and we forged ahead. We first headed down the old route of the 72. This route is no longer used by trackless trolleys, but because the wires were still up, we were able to traverse it with ease. <laughs> Photo stop time. We're getting off at the only other stop on the trackless trolley route that uses left-hand doors besides the Harvard busway. We hopped onto the dual mode articulated silver line bus for the trip back down the 72's old route. Our next destination was Watertown Yard. From Cambridge Common, 
The dual mode in the RTS went via Harvard Square because of their ability to run diesel power. And the trolley bus went via the bus tunnel. No, they're not saying that because... Well, they did use Silver Line once to, for like Green Line uh, shuttle bus once. But don't forget, the dual in dual mode means that they can also run on wires. The driver put up the wires at a photo stop along the way. It wasn't long before we arrived at Watertown Yard. Watertown Yard once served as the terminus to the faded Green Line A branch and handled lots of maintenance for the Green Line. Until January of 2006, it was used for servicing, storage, and testing of the dual mode and trackless trolley buses for the Silver Line Phase 2. Now, it only serves as a layover space for diesel buses. O309 served on the MBTA for two decades and retired in 2017. It is now a member of the MBTA's historical fleet. After spending about 30 minutes at Watertown Yard, we headed back for Harvard Square. But wait, how the heck did they get the trolley bus out of here if the wires at Watertown Yard are no longer functional? What they did is use an MBTA truck to push it to Watertown Square, where the wires do work. Last call to Harvard Square, we took a group photo at Watertown Square. Forty one oh four once again needed a little push and a little rewiring before it could loop Bennett Alley. There sure were a lot of us taking photos on this trip. We boarded the 4104, which went through the Harvard bus tunnel and looped around Cambridge Common in order to be in the right position to head towards Waverly. The Harvard bus tunnels have been redone recently, and it was nice to have a bright, warm space to see 4104 return.
Our next stop was the former Benton Square Loop on the Waverly Line. O309 pulled into the loop and gave us the opportunity for some unique photos. At Waverly Square, the final stop on the 73, we took a 20 minute break before making our last hurrah down the route of the fallen 72. Lean, baby, lean. <laughs> oh, here she is. We rode the dual mode back to Cambridge Car House with the poles up. One last photo stop on Concord Ave presented a once in a lifetime scene that will never be repeated. Some may argue it doesn't count, but technically, we were the last to ever ride down Aberdeen Avenue, Huron Avenue, and Concord Avenue on a trolley bus. As we drove up Massachusetts Avenue for the final time, it struck me how little time we have left with these historic trolley buses. Though the Silver Line has a little way to go, the Cambridge trackless trolleys are near their finale. Thank you to the BSRA for hosting this superb fan trip. It was truly a joyful experience. Be on a lookout for another video about the trackless trolleys that I will post sometime in March, detailing their history and what is to come. But until then, thanks for watching.